Mm, that's good. I actually like that. That pineapple mango. That's really good. <laughs> Lifestyle for Living. I just want to jump on real quick to show you some things that I'm trying to do this summer to help me on my journey as I try to increase my insulin sensitivity and to reverse my A1C numbers. One of the things I'm trying to do is incorporate more protein and fiber and fruit into my diet and with it being the summer I am actually so happy that it's the season for a lot of fruit even though sometimes we can always get it frozen but I decided to try this recipe that I saw from a young lady that I'm following on Instagram so with this mix I'm actually doing some coconut milk I'm actually doing some cashew milk now she had almond milk in hers but when I was actually at the grocery store I saw a lot of additives in the almond milk so I decided to go with the two ingredient cashew milk and I thought that would give me another good twist to it and then I'm also using some fresh pineapples I actually ended up buying the fresh pineapples but I wasn't using them quick enough so I decided to just go ahead and put them in the freezer to preserve them a little longer I purchased some organic mangoes um, you can use fresh mango if you want to and also I got some ground flaxseed that's one of the things I think sometimes we lose sight of we buy flaxseed but don't realize that in order for it to be absorbed more readily in our bodies it needs to be ground also after you open it you also need to actually put it in the refrigerator so for this this a uh, quick deal in order to give me something in my system today is a Sunday I want to eat later so I didn't want anything really heavy so I'm gonna do this actual added coconut milk It's unsweetened so you know that's one of the things I'm gonna do a cup of that and put that in the blender and then I'm also going to do a cup of this all cashew milk and it's wasting out. <laughs> I opened it earlier and used it for something else, but I'm going to do a cup of this cashew milk. I love cashews anyway, so I thought that was a good way to incorporate more into my diet. And I'm going to actually do like a handful of pineapples. I try not to get too many pineapples with me um, being insulin resistant. Pineapples sometimes can spike me, but I think these will be okay. And then I'm going to incorporate some mangoes. And as you can see, this is really one, two, three, four, five ingredients. Can't really go wrong. Now, you know, the good thing about using frozen fruit, it'll give you more of that frozen, um, frozen smoothie and then I'm going to put one tablespoon of flaxseed I guess you could go with a little more if you wanted to I might just do a little more again fiber 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 I can't say how crucial having fiber incorporated into your diet is so important I think some of us sometimes forget that when we're on a weight loss journey if we're not incorporating fiber into our diet, that's going to actually hinder our weight loss going forward. And fiber is crucial for keeping things moving through your system. So the cashew milk, the coconut milk, and then I'm going to add a little ice to mine because I want more of a little frozen. Put that in there. And we're going to seal it up. And I'm power and then crush. Pretty thick, so if you wanted to, you could actually add a little more water to it, but I kind of wanted mine relatively thick because I wanted that icy consistency. I'm going to pour this in here. Now, of course, you know, you could decide how much of this you wanted, but this is kind of like my lunch for the day.
Again, if I decide not to take this in in one serving, I can actually put it in the freezer and eat it sort of like ice cream later on if I wanted to. So let's see what this tastes like. Mm, that's good. I actually like that. That pineapple, mango. That's really good. Now I probably could have let it blend a little while longer just to get more of the ice out of it. So thumbs up to see go of me or CGO underscore of underscore me. Because this actually tastes good and I can definitely see this as one of the things I'll keep in my repertoire this summer as I continue on this journey to reduce my A1C and to increase my insulin sensitivity and to continue to lose weight. So talk to you later.